fractions, addition and subtraction of fractions with the same denominators. If we add fractions with the same denominator, we just add the numerators. 1 sixth plus 1 sixth is the same as 1 plus 1 divided by 6, which is the same as 2 divided by 6 or 2 sixths. The denominator stays the same. And we may be able to simplify the answer. We can divide the top and the bottom by 2. 2 sixths. Divide the numerator by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And the denominator, 6 divided by 2, equals 3. So it's the same as 1 third. 2 sixths equals 1 third. If we subtract fractions with the same denominator, we just subtract the numerators. 5 eighths minus 3 eighths. It's the same as 5 minus 3 divided by 8. 5 minus 3 equals 2. So it's 2 over 8 or 2 eighths. The denominator stays the same. And we may be able to simplify the answer. If we divide the top and the bottom both by 2, the numerator divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and the denominator, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. It's the same as 1 quarter. Read the question carefully to understand what it's asking you to do. Sam buys an apple pie. He eats 3 ninths, Amira eats 1 ninth, and Malika eats the rest. How much does Malika eat? What's the question asking you to do? First find out how much is eaten by Sam and Amira. 3 ninths plus 1 ninth. This is the same as 3 plus 1 divided by 9. 3 plus 1 equals 4, so it's 4 ninths. Now Malika eats the rest of the pie. So 1 is the whole pie. He eats 1 minus 4 ninths. We need to convert 1 into a fraction with the same denominator or ninths. 1 is the same as 9 over 9. So Malika eats 9 over 9 minus 4 over 9. It's the same as 9 minus 4 divided by 9. 9 minus 4 equals 5. So Malika eats 5 ninths of the pie. Sometimes the information you need is in a picture. Find the missing numerator to make both sides of the sum equal. What's the question asking you to do? We can see the denominators are all the same, so we need to find the question mark in the statement 5 plus something equals 2 plus 6. We need to take 5 from both sides to get the question mark on its own and keep the equation balanced. The question mark equals 2 plus 6 minus 5. 2 plus 6 equals 8 and 8 minus 5 equals 3. So the question mark equals 3. The missing numerator is 3. The shaded area represents a fraction of a whole. Use the fraction bar model to work out the calculation. What's the question asking you to do? First, find the two bar fractions. The top one, there are six equal parts. That's the denominator and six parts are shaded. That's the numerator. The second one, there are six equal parts, the denominator, and five parts are shaded, the numerator. Now we need to do the calculation. We have six over six minus five over six. It's the same as six minus five divided by six. Six minus five equals one. So our answer equals 1 over 6 or 1 sixth. For questions with several steps, take it one step at a time. Wendy sells chocolates for 50p each. She has 18 chocolates and sells 2 ninths of them to Jack and 5 ninths to Ella. How much money does she earn? What's the question asking you to do? First, find out how many are sold in total. Two ninths plus five ninths. 
two ninths to Jack and five ninths to Ella. Two plus five equals seven, so seven ninths are sold in total. Now find out the number of chocolates that means. Seven ninths times 18 chocolates. This is the same as seven times 18 over nine. We can divide the top and the bottom by nine. 18 divided by nine is two, and nine divided by nine is one. So we're left with seven times two, or 14 over one. She sold 14 chocolates. So how much money has she earned? 14 times 50 pence. Two times 50 pence equals one pound. So 14 times 50 pence is the same as seven times one pound, or seven pounds. So Wendy earns seven pounds from selling chocolates. Remember, if we add fractions with the same denominator, we just add the numerators. If we subtract fractions with the same denominator, we just subtract the numerators. Simplify your answers where you can. Read the question carefully to understand what it's asking you to do. And for questions with several steps, take it one step at a time.